Hey folks, and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. With the addition of this compact Ford Maverick in 2022, the Ford pickup truck lineup has more options than ever, and we wanna help you narrow it down. So in this video, we've brought the Maverick's older brother, the Ford Ranger, and we're gonna break down all of the differences. We'll talk engines, power, price, and interior space, so make sure you stay tuned. Big thank you goes out to the Bourgeois Auto Group for the use of the Ford Ranger in this video. Let's start by looking at the powertrain. So Ford uses the same strategy for both of its small trucks, a turbocharged inline four cylinder, but they're not the exact same. Over here in the Maverick, we have a two liter turbocharged I-4. It is making 250 horsepower, 277 pound feet of torque, and that is sent through an eight speed automatic. Now looking over here in the Ranger, it's a little bit bigger. This is a 2.3 liter I-4 turbocharged engine that makes 270 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque and that is actually sent through two more gears it's a 10 speed auto so the larger Ranger does make more power but it's not a ton more and we'll go for a drive in a little bit and I'll tell you how they actually compare on the road now we have to discuss overall size of these two trucks and the Maverick here is really not that much smaller than the Ranger. Let's explore. First of all, wheelbase. The Ford Maverick, 121.1 inches. The Ranger, 126.8 inches. So not a massive difference there. Now, overall length on this Ford Maverick is 199.7 inches. That is about 10 inches shorter than the Ranger. Overall width on the Maverick is 72.6 inches. Then overall height, the Maverick comes in at 68.7 inches and the Ranger is only about three inches taller than that. Now another thing which you can just notice with your eyes is that the Ranger sits up a lot taller. Now on paper it only has about 0.3 inches more ground clearance. This is listed at 8.9, that's listed at 8.6, but in the real world you'll see that the approach angle is way better here on the Ranger. The whole truck feels like it's brought up a little bit more, plus you're getting front tow hooks right there. So yeah, Yes, when it comes to the off-roading, you know you're going to have to go with this Ford Ranger over the Maverick. Now let's go to the back end and look at the bed size difference. Now let's look at the beds. And first, let me tell you that this is a Ranger crew cab with the short bed option. That's a five foot bed. There is a longer bed available. And that is one area where the Ranger beats the Maverick. You have some choices over here in the Ranger, two beds and two cabs over here in the Maverick. How you see it is how you get it. Now let's take a look at this bed. So overall bed length here to the end of that floor is four and a half feet. That's 54 and a half inches uh, overall width between the wheel wells 42.6 inches and then above the wheel wells you're talking about 53.3 now for tie downs you're getting a hard tie down in every top corner plus a couple tie downs over there on the floor and then another nice thing here in the Maverick you are getting these little storage cubbies on either end of your bed which is always nice for tucking things away so that's the Maverick. Another thing to point out, the tailgate is not damped. Now let's take a look at this Ranger. Also a non-damped tailgate. Now I mentioned this is a five foot bed. So that's 61 inches, just a little bit longer than the Maverick, but it's considerably wider than the Maverick. Between those wheel wells, that's 44.8 inches. Above the wells, that's 61.4 inches. Now looking at tie downs in this truck, you're only actually getting one physical tie down in each one of the corners and none of the fancy little storage pockets back here. So overall size, you're absolutely bigger here on the Ranger. And keep in mind, you could get a bigger bed. However, I do think that uh, with this short bed, comparing the two, the Maverick is right there. It's about 90% of what this bed is. Let's talk towing and payload now. Here on the Ranger, you're talking about a max tow rating of 7,500 pounds. On the Maverick, a max tow of 4,000 pounds. Real world payload here on this Maverick, 1,404 pounds, really good for a small truck. And then the Ranger has a little bit more. 
at just over 1480. Now, of course, we have to talk about the back seats because where you give up some of the bed space in this Maverick, you gain some space here in the back. So let me climb in. So I stand at six foot two. I'm, of course, a big guy, but I actually fit in this cab just okay. This is my driving position. My seat is, of course, on the knee, or my knees are on the seat. I have just enough headroom, but I think the key is this cab is kind of bubbled out, and, and so it really pushed to the edges, and it maximizes your interior space here. And one of my favorite kind of facts about the Maverick, this is actually more legroom than over there in the Ranger. So let's climb in there now, and we'll compare how I fit. Okay, time to climb in the Ranger. Once again, this is my driving position. So this is 34 and a half inches of leg room. The Maverick has just about 36 and a half. It has two more inches and it's noticeable. Headroom here is enough, but it's actually a little bit less than in the Maverick. I'm much more here on the ceiling. And then my knees are more in this seat than they were over there. Of course, it could be pushed forward, but this is about the same position. So yes, it is absolutely a fact that if you prioritize your crew cab space, the Maverick is actually gonna be a little bit better, especially where the back seat is concerned. And now it's about time to go for a drive and we'll talk about front seat comfort and then how they feel on the road. All right, folks, now we're driving here in this Ranger. This is a Ranger XLT. And the first thing I wanna to touch on are just these sort of fundamental differences between these two trucks. So those are things like the fact that the Ranger here is rear wheel drive. And then of course, when you put it in four wheel, it's four wheel, whereas the Maverick is front wheel drive based all wheel drive. Now, if you get a hybrid Maverick, it's front wheel drive only, but that's definitely a big difference between the all wheel drive Maverick and the four wheel drive Ranger. Another big difference, the Ranger here is body on frame. The Maverick is unibody. I think that the disadvantage to the unibody setup is it doesn't allow Ford to easily have, you know, multiple cab and bed lengths like it does with the Ranger or something like the F-150. A body on frame vehicle makes it a lot easier to have multiple configurations on the same frame. And then there's also the argument that a body on frame vehicle will last longer because, you know, you can dent up the body and that won't mess with the structural you know foundation of the frame i think that's there's some truth to that but these days unibody vehicles which is the majority of vehicles are so good that i don't know how much i really believe that one anymore i will quickly touch on the interior here as well when ford brought this Ranger to North America, it had already been on sale for a number of years in worldwide markets. So when this interior arrived here, it was already old and it already looked old and it still looks a little old. There's not really nice plastics. They're kind of cheap looking plastics. Simple and well laid out, I will absolutely say that, but there's nothing really stylistically here that's interesting whatsoever, at least in my opinion. And that's somewhere where the Maverick definitely pays more attention to uh, having fun with the interior. And it's at this point in the video I will point out a brand new Ford Ranger has been revealed. Now, just like this truck, it's only, it's gonna actually be on sale in Europe first and then they're gonna bring it to North America, but we've already seen it. We've seen shots of the interior from the new Ranger Raptor. You can see those shots right here. It looks really good, fully updated, and it will be a big change once that Ranger interior arrives here. Now, how does it actually drive? Well, first of all, I'm a big fan of the EcoBoost here in the Ranger. It feels really powerful when you put your foot into it. Good low-end torque. And I think a lot of people, myself included, when Ford first announced the Ranger back to North America, they were disappointed that there wasn't even a V6, that it was turbo four only. But then once you get out here and drive this thing, I'll put my foot into it here right now. It's good, it absolutely takes off. Doesn't really sound like much at all, but the power is strong. Ride quality here on the Ranger is okay. And then it also has this kind of weird, 
And the best way I can describe it is like a head bobble sensation as you're kind of going over uneven surfaces and especially sort of up into driveways. You get this really kind of sharp feedback that transfers from passenger side to driver side. So yeah, ride quality here, like I said, is just okay, but it is not the most comfortable midsize truck, I would say that. And now finally, with all that said, I think it's time to jump in the Maverick and see how it compares. Now I'm here in the Maverick and there are two immediate differences. The first one is the seating position. The whole truck sits lower down to the ground. You sit lower down in the truck, so you just don't have this kind of tall perch like you do in the Ranger. And then second of all is ride quality and it's just how good this Maverick is. It is more controlled, the ride is more muted. There's none of that weird head bobble. Going around a corner, certainly not gonna call it a sports car, but it's the closest you might get to a sports car in the pickup truck world it actually hunkers down pretty nice around a corner which you cannot say for the Ranger or really any other mid-sized truck save maybe the Honda Ridgeline so there is definitely going to be big benefits in just everyday ride and drive comfort when you move over here to the Maverick let's feel the power now in the Maverick And it's pretty good. It jumps up to speed quickly. The Ranger is almost like, wow, overwhelming power. The Maverick just feels like a nice match for this little truck. And we have put a big travel trailer behind the Maverick. And I will say that the engine here performed admirably. These little turbos, they have nice low end torque and just good overall power for such small engines. And that leads us on now to fuel economy. So if you go for the Ranger, you're going to get more power and it definitely feels like it out here on the road. But what's going to be the fuel economy trade off? You give up power, definitely, but you do gain that fuel economy. And don't forget, the Ranger, there's only one engine option. The Maverick, if you go for that smaller hybrid, you're gonna get unbelievable fuel economy out of it, although it is front wheel drive only. There isn't much more I can say about the interior. The Maverick has the edge because it's the brand new product, so it's freshly updated. The Ranger, I said this before, the interior was old when it was new here in North America, and now it feels really old. The new Ranger will update it, and I'm sure it'll be something more like this. But what I like about this Maverick is lots of little smart, thoughtful storage cubbies all over the place. A bit of playfulness with this kind of copper, bronze material. Different materials in different places to kind to break up the interior just a really thoughtful eye uh, for a stylish interior which is nice in an inexpensive vehicle so on the inside when it comes to overall space and the way they look in my opinion the maverick blows the ranger away well folks we have arrived at the end of this one after looking at these two trucks i really believe ford has positioned them well to sit next to each other if you want a rugged off-roader or hey maybe you need to tow over 5,000 pounds go ahead and get yourself a ranger but for just about everything else that maverick is going to serve you extremely well plus it'll save you money on msrp and at the fuel pump well, folks, that is it for this one. Now, of course, I want to hear your opinion. Let me know what you think of the Maverick and the Ranger. As always, while you are down below, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member, and then come right back here to Truck King to see what we're testing next. See ya.